CIF quarterfinal playoff action is here. The Tesoro Titans are on the road. This time they head up to Troy High School to take on the Warriors. The winner advances to the semifinals and the loser goes home. Who's it going to be? 48 minute stands between us and the answer to that question. And so far so good tonight for the Titans. They've won the toss, elected to defer, and then the Warriors elect to take the ball. So the Swift kicker Joe Robles is going to tee it up and boot it away. And I'm going to take a guess and say this one's not coming back. Robles, one of the best legs in any high school kicker in the nation. Currently leading the CIF in touchbacks right now. Robles takes his approach and we're underway. It goes high and deep back into the end zone. And it's not coming back. It'll be an 80-yard field for the Warriors. Titans on defense coming up next. Devlin, Lozon, Hull, and Jones, the front four. Lindstrom, Woolbright, and Westerman, the linebacking core. Movement by Troy. And that's going to be motion on the Titans. They'll set up a first and five. Trip to the top side. Sweeney rolls out right, going in the flat. Pass is complete. Caught by Nathan Brewer before he's knocked out of bounds by Ridge Guineri. And that'll move the chains for the Warriors. First and 10 now to 36. Troy breaking the huddle quickly. Lindstrom, Woolbright, and Westerman, the starting linebackers, as the Titans roll up to their 4 3. We'll get to the secondary in a second. Sweeney, deep handoff to Pico, tries the left side, not going to get a thing. Lindstrom and Garrett Beck bring him down. Gain of maybe one, second and long for Troy. Second and call it eight as the Warriors in the black and red break the huddle, sprint to the line. They give this time to Brian Charles. He goes around the right side, lumbers and stumbles ahead before Sean Calcagney trips him up. We'll see where they spot it down. It should be just short of a first down. It'll bring up third and call it one for the Warriors. Third and one it is. Here come the Titans. They're digging in the 5-2 this time. Man in motion. They give Pico right up the gut. And I think he got it. Lozon and Jones tied into him. And we'll see where they spot it ahead. And the referee says it is a first down. So first and 10 for Troy. They're on the drive at the 47. Titans now react to the Warriors' motion. Sweeney comes off to the near side. Pitches to Pico. Cuts it back. Across the 50, falls ahead to the 47. Garrett Beck and Jordan Woolbright in on the tackle. Joey Westerman in there as well. Second and long. Second and six for Troy. The ball right at midfield. Swainy to give near side to Chris Ramirez. Breaks the tackle, the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the five. He's knocked out by Sean Calcagney who saved the touchdown there, a 48-yard gallop by the man Chris Ramirez, 5'9", 165-pound junior. They're going to mark him down at the three. It's first and goal for the Troy Warriors. Sweeney under center. Pico and Ramirez, the lone backs. The give to Ramirez, tries the left side and doesn't get a thing. It was hit initially by Jordan Woolbright, and then Brett Lindstrom stepped up to finish him off. It'll be second and goal for the Warriors. They even lose one, do the Warriors at home even. Imagine that. Second and goal from the five. Motion everywhere. Titans stay in discipline. Sweeney rolls out right, going in the flat. He wants to go for Teferella, and he can't get him. As nice coverage being applied out there by Josh Williams. It's third and goal. What does O'Connell have up his sleeve here? Third and goal in the opening drive of the game. Sweeney under center, comes off to the near side, fakes the pitch nicely and takes it into the end zone. The Warriors strike Paydard first. Five yard run and a quarterback keeper by Derek Coleman, the six foot sophomore. And the Warriors light up the scoreboard. On to attempt the extra point, Roberto Pineda, he kicks it up and through. And just like that, Troy took the ball and marched it 80 yards down the field and punched it in on the Titans. And so far the Titans are trailing this one early. With 9-1 to go in the first, Troy 7, to Tesoro nothing. Pineda set to kick it away. Titans have yet to have the ball on offense. And back deep, it's going to be 
Looks like Harold Williams on the catch. Now it's Randy Jones takes it at the 20, the 25, stumbles ahead to the 30 before he's brought down by Alex Charles. So now the Titans will get a chance to go on offense here. Waiting to break the huddle as they do. We'll get you the big uglies. Johnson, Hodgson, Hanfield, Rondawa, and Weiss from left to right. The backfield is Calcagni and Albatar. The wideouts, Josh Mitchell and Garrett Beck. As always, the capable senior, Todd Shakwa, calling the signals. Albatar and Calcagni, the lone back. Shakwa under center. The give, Calcagni comes right up the gut, cuts it back to the left side. The 35 has got the corner, the 40, the 45, the 50. Down to the 40, the 35, and finally he's knocked out of bounds. Save John Martinez, saving Sean Calcagni from taking it to the house. A nice job by that Tesoro line to move the Warriors out of there. The give is Calcagni again up the gut, makes a move, the 30. The 25 to 20, knocked down out of bounds at about the 19 yard line. And so far it's been all Sean Calcagni. Two runs and he has about 60 yards to show for it. Now they go twins to the top side, we'll have a whistle. And I believe delay game penalty there on the Titans moves them back five. It'll be first and 15 as Calcagni gets motioned up to the top. Albatar now the lone back. Now Shaka wants Calcagni coming across the middle. Five-step drop, the toss to Garrett Beck, gets in and out of his hands. Should have had that one, it'll be second and long. Titans breaking the huddle, facing a second and 15, the ball at the Warriors' 24-yard line. Twins to the bottom, lone receiver to the top, Albatar and Cal Cagney in the offset eye. Shakwa, five-step drop, going up top, he wants it all, his pass is Caught on the near sideline by Garrett Beck. Nice catch. He had a step on John Martinez. He hauls it in at the four, and the Titans are in the red zone. Titans breaking the huddle, trying to answer the Troy Warriors' 80-yard drive with a 70-yarder of their own. Shock with a give. Calcagni on the right side. Breaks one tackle, but can't get out of another as Martinez hauls him in at the three. Pick up of about one. It'll be second and goal from the three for the Titans. Can't imagine that this Tesoro line couldn't move some of these guys out of the way and make room. There they go. Left side, Cal Cagney barrels ahead. Did he get it? Troy says no. Tesoro says yes. But the only thing that matters is what the men in stripes say. And they're not going to give it to him. Third and a football. Line it up and run it right up the get again. They'll go seven-man line. Single receivers the top and the bottom. Calcagni right up the gut. He got it that time. He had to have gotten it, didn't he? No call yet. And we're still waiting to see what's going to happen. And finally a late call, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Sean Calcagni. Nice run by Cal Kegney. Yanta snap, Shockwell holds, and Robles' kick is up and good. And just like that, Tesoro has answered the call of Troy as they march the length of the field on their own to tie this thing up. Don't go anywhere. I have a feeling we're in for a good one. 7-7, seven, seven, your score still in the first quarter. 6-59 left in the first quarter. We're all tied at seven as Robles takes his approach, boots it high and deep. This one down to about the three yard line. We're gonna have a return. It's Pico across the 20, out to the 30, makes a move at the 35, still on his feet at the 40, the 45, and finally Harold Williams and, and Josh Williams bring him down right at midfield. A heck of a return for Troy. And a chance for the Warriors now to work on a short field. Sweeney gives to Martinez, makes a move at the 45, spins ahead to the 43, give Garrett Beck the tackle. Second and short for the men from Troy. Now the Warriors break the huddle, they'll go offset eye, they got Martinez in the slot to give Pico, and a whistle and a flag on the play. Try and sort this one out, second and four is what Troy is facing, but we'll see where the ball is gonna go on the penalty. And the referee's indication, a false start being assessed against the Warriors. False start on the Warriors makes it second and nine. Titans dig in the 4-3. Fake the give to Martinez. Sweeney going up top, and he has a man. It's complete. 
Right down at the five yard line, Joshua Sweeney somehow snuck behind Ridge Guarneri. And Troy is knocking on the Titan door yet again. A simple deep post route went for a lot of yards. Call it about 30 first and goal for Troy. to give near side. Chris Ramirez makes the move, dances and spins, and he gets across the goal line for a touchdown. The Troy Warriors offense has looked phenomenal so far early. This Titan defense, nothing to shake a stick at. And somehow, Troy is seeing something they like and they're exploiting it as they are moving the ball at ease. Pineda's kick is up and good. So, so far the defense is not wanting to show up here tonight at Troy High School. They've had the ball three times and have three touchdowns. 5.48 to go in the first. Warriors 14, Titans 7. Pineda the kick, it's a short one this time. Fielded out at the 10 yard line by Williams across the 20 to the 25 out to the 30 before he's wrestled down. Mark Frontato on the tackle. And the Titans will take over. Ball right out at about the 30, 31 yard line they'll spot it. Calcagna the lone back, he's got trips to the near side. Shockwa crawls up under center, facing a 4-3 cover two. Shockwa two-step drop, gets it out in the near side. Complete to Mitchell, the 40, the 45, the 50 is across midfield before Alex Charles drags him down. A nice pitch and catch there. A gain of about 20 for the Titans. Again, neither defense really stopping anybody. Shockwell gets 20 on that chunk. Now the Titans have it into Warrior territory. First and 10 from the 48. Last few minutes here of the first quarter. Shockwell deep handoff, Calcagney to the right side, the 45, the 40, and he's tripped up. Goes out of bounds at the 37. John Martinez on the tackle again for Troy. 14 to seven Warriors right now. Still in the first quarter. Mitchell and back the twin receivers to the top. Calcagni the lone back. Shockwell up under center. Titans go in a strong right formation. Warriors answer the same 4-3 the Titans play. Deep hand off the right side, Calcagni. Right at the 35, just pushed down at the, call it the 34 yard line, Bobby Freeman. Six-foot senior linebacker steps up to bring him down. And it's enough for the Titans to move the chains. It's first and 10. They're at the Troy 34-yard line. Mitchell lined up in the slot. Now Keen comes in motion to give Cal Cagney right up the gut. He doesn't have much room to run at all. Jeremy Fox, the 5'10", 210-pound tackle. Brings him down. He may have gotten one. It'll be second along for Tesoro. Shockwin, now he spreads the field. Twins to the bottom side and the top side. Shockwa gives it to Calcagni. Goes up the gut again. Crosses the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Jeremy Fox got him again. It'll be third and long for the Titans. What does O'Connell do here? Needing a third and long? He's got to answer the Warriors somehow. Strong ride, Shockwa, he's going to the air. Five-step drop, going downfield and wide open was Grant Keene, and I don't know how Shockwa missed him. But Grant Keene had visions of the paint in the end zone in his eyes, and Shockwa threw it a little bit high, and he couldn't come down with it, and he is fit to be tied. Joe Robles on now, 47-yard field goal. The snap good, the hold good, and the kick is up and no good. He missed it wide left, plenty of leg. That thing would have went from 50, but his accuracy was wide left, so the advantage Warriors as Robles can't find the accuracy. And now the Warriors will have it first and 10 from their own 20. Sweeney up under center. He's got two men in the backfield. That's Martinez and Pico to give. Chris Ramirez cuts it back, makes the move, breaks the tackle. He's out across the 40 to the 45-yard line. Finally, somebody ran him down in a white jersey, and that was Taylor Jones, the six-foot, one-inch senior. Lumbered his 200-pound frame down to bring him down, but not before they spotted ahead at the 44, so 24-yard pickup for Ramirez. 
Titans stand in their 4 3. All sorts of motion for the Warriors to give Pico right up the gut. He's across the 50 down into Titan territory. They'll mark, mark him forward in what would have to be the 47 yard line of Tesoro. And if that's the case, that should be a first down for Troy. Second and short for the Warriors. Ramirez trying the end around the left side. He has it. The 40 tries to break a tackle, and he does at the 35. Ridge Guarneri steps up, makes a stop. And then Trevor Lozon comes in to finish him off, but not before the Warriors pick up more real estate. And they'll move the change yet again. Credit the Troy coaching staff and head coach Jim Burton for finding something they like so far in the Titan defense. Sweeney, two-step drop, going up top, and he has a man, Nathan Brewer. Nice catch there, and he's going to be brought down at about the one-yard line, I believe. Nope, they're going to give it to him. I thought he was down at the one, but the far side referee comes in and says touchdown. And just like that, the Troy Warriors have answered. Now on to attempt the extra point. Roberto Pineda, his kick is up and good. So how about this? Troy High School's had the ball three times. They've punched it in every single time. A buck 49 to go in the first. Warriors 21, Titans 7. If Tesoro does not want their season to end tonight, they have got to make a defensive adjustment. As so far, Troy is moving the ball at will all over the Titan defense. Randy Jones takes the ball at the two, brings it down, and he is hammered down at the 15-yard line. Who else but John Martinez saying hello to bring him down, and the Titans will be forced to work with an extra long field. Randy Jones is still shaking up on the sideline after that big hit. He's trying to shake it out over there. Now the Titan offense forced to answer. Cal Cagney to the left side. Across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Alex Charles brings him down. Pickup of about eight. It should be second and short for the Titans. Once again, the line for the Titans. Johnson and Hodged in the left side. Hanfield the center. Rendawa and Weiss the right side. Shakwa. Five-step drop. Plenty of time to throw it. Comes deep down the field. It's picked off. Stepping in front of it is John Martinez. He's going to take it back to the 20, the 15, and he fumbles it. When gonna have a scramble for the football right on the five yard line and who knows who's gonna come out of this pile with that thing. Shakwa had his man in the slot and he underthrew it. And I don't believe it, Troy has fumbled it back to the Titans. Wow, what a break for Tesoro. Shakwa throws an interception. Troy starts to run the interception back and then he fumbles it on the way into the house and now the Titans are gonna have it first and 10 from their own five yard line. Shakwa, Cal Cagney left side and he is smoked down. George Tanner, 195 pound senior smacking him down. And I think Cal Cagney is shaking up on it. Hopefully he can shake off that hit and come back because the Titans need him to have a game tonight. Second and five, they didn't get much of anything. Shakwa, the give, Cal Cagney trying the left side, has a little bit of room. Gets it out to the 10-yard line. Pineda on the tackle for the Warriors. And in the shadows of their own goalposts, the Titans will have it third and five. And that brings an end to the first quarter. So second quarter starting off here. Titans trail it by 14, 21 to seven. Shockwood, three-step drop, goes to Calcagni in the flat. He has it at the 10, makes the move to the 15. And he's pushed out of bounds by Bobby Freeman. Gaining some nice yards there for the Titans. I'm not sure if it's enough to move the chains or not. And the John Marker says, well, it said three, but they're going to give him the first down. So first and ten right at the 30 for the Titans. Trips to the near side for Shakwa. Looks like they're going to bring the corner on the blitz, and they do the Warriors. Shakwa gets it out quickly, and it's incomplete. He had Josh Mitchell on the little under route, and he overthrew it, so it'll be second and ten for Tesoro. Shaco breaks the huddle. Now Albatar checks back in at fullback for the Titans. Calcane in the lone back. Shaco gives it to his man right up the gut, the 35. Out ahead to the 40-yard line. John Martinez on the tackle. 
And depending on the spot, it might be a Tesoro first down or it might be third and short. Third and short it is. So what else do you do? Give it to Calcagni right up the gut, huh? 4-3 for the Warriors. Shock with three-step drop. What do I know? He wants his tight end right across the middle, and Grant Keene has it goes in and out of his hands. And now the question, is it four-down territory or not? It'd be a gutsy call here in the second quarter. Trailing 14, they go for it. They give Cal King to the right side. He breaks the tackle, and he's got it up for the first down. Crosses the 45 to the 48-yard line, and what a gutsy call by Jim O'Connell. Early on in the second quarter, in your own territory, fourth, and you need one, and you go for it. And the Titans get it, and that was a huge pickup, especially after Troy has moved the ball at will. You have to show him you're not afraid to play football with him. Now they got it. First fresh set of downs to their own 48. The give, Harold Williams. Stumbles ahead across the 50 to the 49. Have to think the sophomore just giving Calcagni a, a breather on the far sideline. Pick up a five for Harold, it'll be second. And long for the Titans. Now Cal Cagney back in. This field at Troy High School. It's been used and abused all season long, and you can see between the hash marks, not a whole lot of grass there. And an encroachment. No false start they're gonna call on Tesoro. So now it's gonna be second and really long. Cal Cagney motions into the slot. Now they want him back in the backfield. He's gonna stay in and protect against the Blitzers. Shakwa. Had the screen set up, and he just threw a duck at the feet of Sean Calcagni. And now it's third and 12, and Tesoro is frustrated. Sands the San Clemente game. They haven't played from behind all season long. Shakwa, five-step drop, going across the middle, and he has a man. It's Josh Mitchell, complete at the 28-yard line of Troy. That's enough for the first down, and the Titans are on the move again. Titans trying to answer one of the three touchdown drives that Troy has put on him so far. Cal Cagney takes it to the left side, the 25, ahead to the 21-yard line before he's stopped by Alex Crane. Pickup of a few, it'll be second and long for the Titans. Mitchell goes to the top side, back to the bottom of your screen. Avatar the fullback, Calcagni the lone tailback. Deep handoff, Calcagni right up the gut, the 20. Bounces it out to the 15 yard line. It's brought down by Alex Charles. And it'll be third and short facing Tesoro. Titans have it on the 15 yard line of the Warriors. Shock will force to have drop going up top for Mitchell. And he threw it to his outside shoulder and it was incomplete. He threw it a little bit behind him. And Mitchell tried to make the adjustment and he couldn't do it. So here come the Titans again. Shakwa, the handoff. Calcagni, the 15, dances ahead to the 10 yard line. And nice hit out there. Jim Hodgson protecting his tailback. As it's going to be third and short now facing the Titans. Last one is second and 10. Now it's going to be third and call it about five as they have to get down to the five for a first down. Mitchell in motion. Shockwell play action pass. Going to go for the end zone. And he had Garrett Beck and he missed him. I can't believe it. Shockwell, these are throws that he makes all season long. And tonight he's just off just enough that his receivers are doing their best to get in position. Now Robles on to attempt his second. Field goal attempt of the night. This one from 26 yards. You out snap, Shockwa holds, and Robles is perfect this time. He splits the uprights, and the Titans manage to put some points on the board. 7.42 to go in the half. Troy 21, Tesoro 10. Titans get three that time. The problem is the Warriors have been getting seven every time they've been getting the ball. And Robles makes sure there's no return here as he boots it through the back of the end zone. And Troy will have it with an 80-yard field. Sweeney up under center. The give Ramirez. He tries the left side across the 20, head to the 24-yard line. Jeff Guerin's on the tackle for the Titans. It'll be second and six for the Warriors. Titan defense needing to find a way to keep Troy out of the end zone. 
They've had the ball three times on the night, and each time they've managed to punch, punch it in. Sweeney, play action, roll left, wants Ramirez and has him across the 30 to the 35, and that young man runs hard. He hit Josh Williams smack on and drove Williams four yards back after initial contact. And credit the Warriors tonight, they have come out at home and they are taking it right to the men in white. Troy with the ball, the nose of the football sits on the 39 yard line, their own 39 for that matter. The give to Ramirez, he tries it, he's got some room. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, he's got reservations for six. Nice run there by Chris Ramirez. Takes it over the right side line and Sean Calcagney can do nothing but talk to him in the end zone. And if Pineda can connect with another extra point, which he does, the Titans are down by 18 here. Fortunately for Tesoro, it's only in the first half, but still, the misdirection offense, given the Titans fit, 6.47 to go in the half. The men from Troy, 28, and the Titans, 10. Trust me that Jim O'Connell is making some mental notes, and at halftime, you will see all sorts of adjustments being made because the Titans have got to find a way to stop the Warrior offense and fire up their defense. Williams on the return, tries the right side, and he's hit head on by Brian Tucker. And he gets it out to at least the 30, so the return didn't go for nothing. And now the Titans, they got a field goal the last drive. The one before that, they missed a field goal. The only touchdown so far on the opening drive when Calcagney took it in. Now Shockwell, five-step drop, goes across the middle, has it complete to Garrett Beck. Dances across the 40, out to the 44 before John Martinez brings him down. And that should be good for a Tesoro first down. Beck with a ripped jersey on the play. These guys are getting after it tonight. First and 10 for the Titans. They mark it at the 45-yard line of Tesoro. Shockwell to give Calcagney. He picks up about three before Jay Son wraps up an ankle. It'll be second and seven facing Tesoro. Shockwell going to split the receivers. Grant Keen up top. Garrett Beck down low. Sean Calcagney the lone back. Shockwood goes to a long count, five-step drop. Goes right across the middle and he has a man. Looks like it's Grant Keen, his tight end. Just did a little six-yard curl and he sat down in the zone. And Shockwood found him, but unfortunately Keen pulled up right in front of the first down chain. So it's third and a half a yard for Tesoro. Shockwood to give Kalkang to the left side and he's got enough for the first down. He's down about the 40-yard line of Troy, Julian Hamoud. Six foot one inch sophomore on the stop. And the referee with the white hat says move the chains. So they do. First and 10 for the Titans from the 39 yard line of Troy. Calcagney spins out of attack on the backfield to 35 across the 30. And that run was all heart right there. Should have been stopped for a four yard loss. And instead, he lumbers ahead for a Tesoro first down. Calcagney, they are riding this horse to death tonight across the 30 down to the 25. And this senior playing like it could be his last game, which if this holds, it will be. And Calcagney, thanking his off-season conditioning now, this young man is getting the ball early and often. Calcagney again over the left side. Gets ahead to about the 22-yard line. Crane on the tackle for the Warriors, now it's third and five facing the Titans. Shakwa up under center, fakes it to Albatar, rolls out right, and he throws it back across the middle, and did he get it complete? Yes, he did, Grant Keane with a nice catch. Down around the 10-yard line, Shakwa's pass was still a little bit awry, but Keane went down and got it, and now the Titans are knocking on the Warriors' doorstep. They have it first and goal from the Warriors' 10. Calcagney deep handoff, the 10 ahead to the 5. Stopped by Chris Price. Looks like the referee going to spot it just inside the 5. Now it's second and goal. And the Titans are that much closer to a touchdown. Calcagney brings a man in motion. That's Rindawa and they go back to the left side and Calcagney plies ahead and he's in for a touchdown. John Calcagney for the second time tonight. Gets ahead for the touchdown, and 
That was Grant Gunther in motion, the 6'2", 250-pounder. Nice look from O'Connell there as the out snap is dead on. Shakwa has the hold, and Robles ties to the extra point. I said Tesoro had to answer with seven points, and that they did. All Sean Calcagni on that drive. Calcagni to the right, Calcagni to the left, and with 2.46 to go in the half, it's Troy 28 and Tesoro 17. Robles kickoff high and deep. And this one, too, bounces out of the back of the end zone. So Troy will have it with another 80-yard field in front of him. And just a couple minutes left here in the first half. Warriors four for four tonight. Four touchdowns. And some motion, and we'll see who jumped on which side. And that one's going to go against Tesoro. So they give the Warriors five more. The ball's out at the 25. First and five for Troy. Misdirection in the backfield to give Ramirez. He gets it ahead to the 26 before he's stacked up. Credit Andy Centaur and Joey Westerman with the tackle. Garrett Beck gets a hand in there as well. It'll be second and short for Troy. Swaney up under center. Now the traditional multiple player movement by the Warriors. They're going to go off to the top side. The pitch. Goes to Derek Coleman, tries to get it on the left side, but he can't. Joey Westerman ran him down. Six foot, 180 pound senior. And this drive, third and one now facing Troy. They're gonna try the left side again, and Ramirez, and I don't know if he got it. Brett Lindstrom hit him initially. Sean Calcagney stepped up to help him out. And depending on the spot, it might be a fourth down situation for Troy, and it is. Warriors break the huddle quickly. Mono y mano, low pad wins. The give, Coleman over the left side, and he got it. If he would have went up the middle, the Titans had it plugged, but instead he tried it off tackle left. And big number 90, Trevor Lozon, just couldn't hold his gap, and the Warriors move the chains. Ramirez comes around the left side. The 35, he gets the corner, the 40, before he goes out of bounds, and he's hit late by Garrett Beck, and we'll see if they're going to flag Beck for that, and it looks like they will as Garrett hit him about two steps out of bounds. Some extracurricular activity on the Warriors sideline, but unfortunately for Tesoro, that's gonna move it ahead 15 more, and now the ball is into Titan territory. First and 10 for the Warriors from the Titans 44. Swain to the give Coleman over the left side, and he doesn't get much as Trevor Lozon holds onto his back. Down about the 45. Gain of about one as Coleman rolls Lozon off of him. Gain of whistle on the play. Now we're going to have second and call it seven facing the Warriors. Sweeney, four-step drop going up top. He wants it all again. He has a man down there, and it is complete somehow. Joshua Sweeney uses all six foot five inches of his frame to go up and get that one. And Troy has it down again in the red zone up to Soro. But hold everything, folks. A flag on the play that I didn't see initially. An eligible man downfield for Troy will negate a nice pitch and catch. And now it goes to Ramirez, and he is sacked in the backfield. Taylor Jones saying hello. Troy going to lose a few yards, and they'll call a timeout and talk about this here. Now it would have been first and goal from the Titans. Six has turned into third and forever for Troy, and a whistle and a flag. And that's going to be offside against the Titans, so the misdirection still spelling disaster for Tesoro, as that's about the sixth time they've been flagged tonight for that. Now it'll be third and ten as the Titans revert to a 5-2. The give Ramirez fakes the end around, and now he did hand it off up underneath to Chris Price around the 20 to the 15, down to the 10. Garrett Beck ran him down. What a play there. I hadn't seen that one all night. Ramirez, I thought he faked the reverse underneath the price. The young man held the fake nicely around the right side, and by the time the Titans tracked him down, they convert on third and forever. Now it's first and 10. The ball at about the 11, so they don't have to get in for a touchdown. Coleman on the option on the right side, breaks the tackle. The 10 spins ahead to the 7. Garrett Beck brings him down. So again, the Warriors do not need to get it in the end zone. They still can pick up a first down if it gets just short of the goal line. 
Coleman, Sweeney, drop, throws it to a spot, and he has a man complete. Touchdown, Troy. Josh Sweeney on the slant. And nice catch there. Tyler to his brother Josh. And they are complete as Pineda on for the extra point. And I don't believe what I'm seeing. The Titan defense has played so tough all season long. Didn't get off the bus tonight here at Troy High School. The Warriors moving the ball absolutely at will. Several players in motion. They're running it right. They're running it left. And with six seconds to go in the half, Troy leads it 35-17. Squib kick down the middle. It's going to be picked up by Randy Jones. The 30 to 35 and hits head on into a Warrior brick wall at about the 40-yard line. And the Titans are going to go into halftime, trailing the hometown Ho Troy Warriors as Calcagni has it across the left side. And Titans content to run out the clock here as he picks up a couple. And these two teams go to the half with the hometown Troy Warriors dominating. 35-17 Warriors at the half. Third quarter action coming your way here as Pineda dribbles a kick down to the 15. Jones has it again. The 30 breaks the tackle to 35. Spins ahead to the 36-yard line. Robbie Beard brings him down. And we'll see what kind of adjustments O'Connell made. Toss sweep left side. Cal Cagney brings it across the 35 up to the 37-yard line. Stepping up to bring him down is Brian Charl. And Cal Cagney up limping. That young man's going to be sore tomorrow, but he's got a lot of work left to do if he wants to get another CIF ring. Cal Cagney, deep handoff, the 40, plows ahead to the 44-yard line. He's kind of hogtied down out there by Joshua Balcom. And we'll see. I think they're going to bring the chains out here. And they do, and they major, and the Titans have a first down. First and 10 from the 45. Shock with a give. Cal Cagney the right side. And he picks up about five more out to the 50-yard line. Every time Sean touches the ball, it seems like he gets five yards. And credit the line for that. Hodgson, Johnson, Hanfield, Rendawa, and Weiss making it happen up front. Shockwell, five-step drop, going up top, and he has a man, he's got him this time. Josh Mitchell stumbles ahead, touchdown, Titans. What a throw by Todd Shockwell. Mitchell just ran a fly route up the far sideline, and Shockwell dialed it in that time. And just like that, the Titans are on top. Penalty moves it back to what's going to be a 35-yard extra point for Tesoro, and that's no problem as Joe Robles tacks it high and through the uprights. And O'Connell fired up the troops at halftime with 10 away to go in the third. The Titans now trail it by 11, 35-14 Troy. Robles, fresh off a 35-yard extra point, sends this kickoff down, and it's fielded at about the one-yard line. Coleman out across the 20, spins ahead to the 25-yard line. Harold Williams on the tackle. I thought that ball was going in for a touchback, and Coleman plucked it right out of the air. Sweeney gives it to Ramirez, trying the left side, breaks the tackle by Woolbright. Now he plows ahead. He's going to pick up six or seven on that. Sean Calcagney. And Taylor Jones in on the tackle. And brings up second and short for Troy. The give first man through, that's Coleman. And he runs hard as well as Jones hit him initially at the line, as did Anthony Hull, but they were unable to stop him right away. And he lumbers ahead for a Troy first down. Swain to the give near side, Ramirez. Tries to cut it back up the middle and doesn't get a thing. Anthony Hull and Neelan Devlin combined to stop him. And it'll be second and long facing Troy. Ball right at about the 42-yard line of the Warriors. Typical three men in motion. Looks like the Titans are content to hold now in the motion. Swainy goes off to the top side, pitches to Coleman, across the 40 to the 42-yard line. See who snuck in on the tackle. Jordan Wolbright and Shane Latuka combined for that. Third and eight facing the Warriors. Ramirez trying the right side again. Now he cuts it back, and what a stop in there by Brett Lindstrom. The 6'2 junior stepped up and used all 183 pounds of his frame to stop him. 
And the Warrior offense is forced to punt for the first time on the night. The Titan defense has finally held. On the kick, Bobby Freeman. And a low spiraling kick takes a Troy bounce as it bounces down around the 30 and finally comes to rest at the 25 of the Titans. So now the Titans can go to work on this lead of the Warriors because their defense has finally managed to keep them out of the end zone. And now see if Shockwell can pick up where he left off. Up under center, five-step drop, going to go to the air, and he wants it all again. He's coming down on the near side, and he wanted Mitchell. And this time it was too much. Mitchell gave it a good effort, but Shockwell just a little bit too much. It'll be second and ten for the Titans. Shockwell up under center. Give it to his horse, Kalkagni, right up the gut. A 30 up ahead to the 35-yard line. And that should be enough to move the chains. And it is first and 10 for Tesoro. It's at their own 36. Shakwa facing the 4-3. The give Kalkagni cuts it outside the right side. He's got the corner. The 50, the 40, the 35 makes a move. The 30, and he's pushed out of bounds by John Martinez. Save another Sean Kalkagni touchdown. Titans have it deep in Detroit territory. The 25-yard line. Shockwell rolling out left, going up top. And he wanted Josh Mitchell, and that was incomplete. Nice coverage by Alex Crane for the Warriors. And he knocked it out of the hands of Josh Mitchell, or else Mitchell would have had another touchdown. Second and 10, Titans to give Kalkagni. Tries to go right up the gut and doesn't get a thing. Brian Charles on the tackle. It's third and long for Tesoro. Mitchell and Beck at the wideouts. Mitchell on the bottom of your screen. Shockwell going to come in the flat to Kalkagni. And he dropped it. I thought for a second it might have been a lateral if he threw it backwards, but he didn't. He threw it right into his hands and it bounced down. And now Robles is on to attempt a 40-yarder. Christian Yount, the snap is good, the hold is good, and the kick is up, and it's good. So Joe Robles has only missed once tonight. That was from 47, but he tacks on that one from 40. And with 5.43 to go in the third, the Titans are within a touchdown, 35-27. Robles' kick is high and deep, and he drilled that one. It doesn't even land in the end zone. And no doubt about that touchback, and Troy will have it with an 80-yard field. Swainy under center and in trouble as Taylor Jones brings him down back around the six-yard line. And he wanted to roll out right, and Taylor Jones just flew right by his man. And that young man has made big defensive play after big defensive play all season long. Second and forever for Troy. And, ah, oh my, another movement on the Tesoro line. Matt Potter jumped that time. Swain to give Ramirez the right side. And now the Titan defense is there, and the ball's on the ground. A scramble for the football. We'll see who got it, and the Titans did. What a play by the Tesoro defense, and that is the break that they have been looking for. Shane Latuka on the recovery, and the Titans are going crazy on the sideline. First and goal, Titans on the Warriors' five. The give, Kalkagni right up the gut. He's got reservations for six. Sean Kalkagni on the touchdown, and the Titans, just like that, convert the Troy turnover. And it's 35-33. Do you go for one or do you go for two? And O'Connell says you go for two. I like this call. The ball on the three. Shockwell, five-step drop. Goes for Kalkagni right across the middle, and he falls back into the end zone. He got it. What a play for a two-point conversion. A jailbreak screen. And Shockwell threw it into traffic. Kalkagni caught it, and just like that, the Titans have knotted it up at 35 with 4.38 to go in the third. The Troy Warriors sideline is stunned. They were absolutely taking it to the Titans. And now Tesoro has held and clawed their way back in. Robles has this kick returned. And I don't know if Ramirez should have brought it out or not as he only gets about nine yards on the return. He lets it go into the end zone. His team has it at the 20 and said he brings it out and they get it at the 10. Titan defense fired up. They have held so far in the third, and they've caused a fumble. Now Coleman out across the 20. Kalkagni 
Jumps on his back and Coleman carries him for about five. Finally comes down around the 32 yard line. So a pickup of about 22 for Coleman. And now the Warriors are on the move again. They do their typical three men in motion. Now Sweeney, four step drop, coming near side. He wants to go for Nathan Brewer and it's tipped and finally it's caught, what a catch. He turns on the Jets ahead to the 25, down to the 23. Excellent coverage out there. And the ball was just tipped up and Nathan Brewer refused to lose on that one. And the Warriors pick up a whole bunch of yardage. First and 10 from the Titan 24. The give Coleman over the left side and doesn't get a thing. Trevor Lozon smokes him down from his defensive tackle position. Second and long for the Warriors. Coleman, the lone tailback. Now Ramirez moves over to the slot. They have trips to the top side. Play action, Swaney. Going for Brewer, and he has him complete at the 10. Finally wrestled down by Latuka down around the five yard line, but that's good for a Troy first down. They'll have it first and goal with only five yards to go. Swaney to give Ramirez. Hit initially by Westerman at the five, but forward progress will probably put him down closer to the four, maybe even the three yard line. Second and goal, Troy. Full house backfield to give Coleman over the left side. He's plowing ahead, keeping his legs moving. And we'll see if the ball broke the plane or not. Garrett Beck and Ridge Guarneri started to drive him back. Coleman thought he had it. He kind of eased up, but I don't know if the referee's going to give it to him or not. And he doesn't. The Warriors need a football. Swaney under center to give Coleman. He jumps up and over the pile. And he's in. Touchdown, Troy High School. The Warriors, an impressive drive there, keyed by Derek Coleman, the six-foot sophomore. And now Robert Pineda on for the extra point, and he has been perfect tonight. That is the sixth touchdown on the evening scored by Troy High School. And now the Warriors, they blew an 18-point lead. Tesoro came back to knot it up at 35. And now with 1.29 to go in the third, the Warriors retake the lead, 42-35. Deep kick fielded at the five by Randy Jones out to the 20 and he is hit immediately by Brian Charles. The six foot senior and Randy Jones is just getting knocked around out there like a, a puppy that's just nipping at your feet that just won't go anywhere and Randy Jones is just getting annihilated on the kickoff returns. Calcagney right up the gut, breaks the tackle, the 40, the 50. He's gonna go to the house, the 30, the 20, the 10. I don't believe it. Sean Calcagney on about an 80 yard run and he took six of his closest friends with him. And just like that, the Tesoro Titans have tied this football game up. I don't believe what I just saw. Off tackle right, a play they have been running all night long. But that time, Rondella and Weiss opened up a hole. You could have driven a semi through. Sean Calcagney had 80 yards left in the tank and Robles tacks on the extra point. And we now have 84 points of offense in this football game. 42-42 your score with a buck 11 to go in the third quarter. Titans needed all of 18 seconds to tie this thing. Robles on for the kick and that one doesn't come back again. And it's interesting with Joe Robles, every kick he has could be a touchback. And he's had a couple return tonight that have landed down around the one. These two teams in a heavyweight slugfest. If you like offense, you're watching the right game. Sweeney under center, the give Coleman. He'll try the right side and he has it out across the 25, the 30 to the 35. Josh Williams just got a piece of it and Coleman's upset. He, he wanted to answer Calcagney's big run, but he wasn't able to do it as he got tripped up, but he got a bunch of yards. Call it 15 and it's first and 10 for the Warriors from their own 35. Coleman right up the gut, cuts it back, breaks the tackle, the 45, the 50, lumbers ahead to the 45. Nealon Devlin brings him down, but credit Coleman, whatever that first hit happens, that's not enough to bring him down. He just spins ahead and lumbers and keeps his legs moving. And that young man plays with a whole lot of heart. First and 10 now, Troy again into Soro territory. Coleman left side. Gets to the 43-yard line and no more. Trevor Lozon stopping him. And now Lozon on the ground. He's gasping for air. Might have got the wind knocked out of him. And they'll take a 
time out here to check him out. And as they do, the clock expires. So we go to the fourth quarter, all tied up at 42. 12 minutes to go to see who's going to advance. The give Coleman, he squirts out of a tackle down to the 31, Garrett Beck. And Jeff Guerin's on the tackle. Not a whole lot of defense being played tonight. Swainy the give Ramirez across the 30. He's down to the 26-yard line. Trevor Lozon on the tackle. Again, the yards seem to be coming in bunches tonight for these teams in four, five, and six-yard increments. Swainy to give to Coleman and a whistle. So far, the offenses have just been dominating the defenses tonight. All knotted up at 42 apiece. Ramirez goes in motion along with three other Warriors. And now Sweeney, play action to Coleman, sets up in the pocket. And he was hit on the pass. Spins down incomplete. His arm was hit on the way forward. Garrett Beck thought he might get a cheap interception, but not to be. And it's a third and 10 facing the Warriors at about the 32-yard line of Tesoro. Sweeney, play action, steps up in the pocket across the middle, and he has it complete. Nathan Brewer, his favorite target tonight, hauls it in. Brewer, 6'2", senior. And the other guy, Sweeney, 6'5", so some big receivers for the Warriors. The give, Coleman, the 10, breaks the tackle as Jeff Gerens holds on for dear life, and Coleman plows down to about the five-yard line, and that should be a Troy High School first down, and it is. First and goal, Warriors from the Titans, five. The give, Coleman again, the left side, and he doesn't get a thing. Joey Westerman and Ridge Granieri step up to stop him. Guess he fell forward at the end, so they might give him one. Second and goal from the Tesoro four. Four men in motion this time for the men from Troy. They're going to go off to the top side, and Taylor Jones stunts in the balls on the ground. Taylor Jones, what a stun. He came right through the big gap. Swinney didn't see him, he put it down, and the Titans have held against the Warriors. A big, big hit that time by Taylor Jones. And now Tesoro not only stops Troy, but now they have a chance to go and take their first lead of the game. Calcagni around the left side with a whole lot of room to run. Across the 20, out to the 25. John Martinez knocks him out of bounds. Pickup of about 20 yards that time for Sean Calcagni. And the Titans... Have it first and 10 from their 27. Cal Cagney taking it up the gut again across the 30 to the 31. Ryan Charles stacks him up. Second and medium range, we'll call it for Tesoro. About six or seven, depending on how you want to look at it. Cal Cagney, the lone back. Shakwa, play action pass, steps up. Going for a bundle of yards, and he had Josh Mitchell, and he missed him. Todd Shakwa has just been about a foot off all night long. As Mitchell, if he could have hauled that one in, Shakwa had him in man-to-man -man coverage and he would have went to the house. And now a whistle from the far side referee. They're gonna get Troy for lining up in the neutral zone. That moves it ahead five. It's third and one for the Titans. Kat Cagney right out of the left side, breaks one tackle, stays on his feet. Now he's across to the 40 yard line and that should be enough for a Titan first down. And it is, as they remove the chains back to the far sideline, the Titans have it out to their own 40 now. Remember, this drive started all the way back at the Titan 5, keyed by Taylor Jones' caused fumble. Shakwa complete to Garrett Beck. That's out to the 47. Pickup of about 7. It'll be 2nd and 3 for the Titans. The Warriors were knocking on the door yet again for their 7th touchdown of the night. Taylor Jones stunts through and caused... Sweeney to put the ball on the ground. And now the Titans are going to go try and take their first lead tonight. The give, Cal Cagney, the right side, has it across midfield. And he stumbles down to about the 47 of Troy. Alex Charles on the tackle. First and 10 for the Titans. I didn't know if Cal Cagney had enough for the first down, but indeed he did. Shaka, deep handoff, Cal Cagney tries to cut it back outside and can't do it. George Tanner on the tackle. But as we mentioned, every time Cal Cagney touches it tonight, he gets about four or five yards, and that'll take its toll 
Now he's getting a breather as Harold Williams steps in. Williams missed the blitzer. Shockwell steps up. He's going for it all deep down the right sideline. Touchdown, Titans! Garrett Beck hauls it in. Anytime you go for the quarterback on a blitz, you got to get there. And Harold Williams missed the block, but Todd Schock was stepped up underneath him, and then Garrett Beck had his man beat down on the near sideline. Schock will found him, and Beck hauls it in, a 45-yard strike. And the Titans have their first lead of the evening. Yelp the snap, Schock with a hold, and Robles does what he does, and he boots it through. And the Tesoro Titans have come all the way back. Trailing by 18, 35-17 at the half. They have come out here and they lead it with 6.49 to play. 49-42, are you kidding me? Robles on for yet another kickoff here. This one high and deep into the night. And it's not gonna come back. So now it comes down to the final six minutes and 49 seconds. Between the Troy Warriors and the Tesoro Titans, the winner moves on, the loser goes home. Warriors do their typical scurry motion. Swaney under center, the give Cole on the left side, and he's gonna pick up about four. Anthony Hull and Garrett Beck on the tackle. Shane Latuka got in there as well. Second and six for the Warriors. They've gotta be quick and they need a touchdown. Down by seven, 49-42. Swainy under center, goes option to the top side, and Jones got him again. Taylor Jones is having a game. Arguably the best defensive player on the Titans' side of the ball. And he is just wreaking havoc on Swainy in that option. Third and eight now for the Warriors, and you'd have to figure it's a fourth down situation should they get there. Swainy in the pocket, steps up, has a man, and it's picked off. Garrett Beck stepped in front of him. And he just barely got taken down by Nathan Brewer or else Beck would have taken it to the house. And now all the momentum is on the Tesoro side. Shakwa under center, first and 10 from the 25 of Troy. The give, Calcane left side breaks the tackle, the 20, the 15, the 10, the five. He dives through the pylon, did he get it? Yes, Sean Calcane has done it again. He dives for the pylon over the left side run, and if I'm not mistaken, that is touchdown number six for Sean Calcagni. And now the Titans lead it with the Robles extra point. It'll be two touchdowns, 56-42, and warm up the big lady in the stands because I think the Titans are going to survive out of this one as the defense made big plays when they had to. And now... With just 5.21 to go in the game, they lead it 56-42. And all of the energy that was abundant in this Troy High School Stadium is now completely gone. Robles' kick is going to be fielded. It's Ramirez, and he plows out to the 20-yard line before Andy Weiss brings him down. And the Troy Warriors are just stunned right now. They don't know a thing that just hit them. They were up 18 points, and now they're down 14. Sweeney to give Coleman right up the gut, and he gets a few. Trevor Lozon on the stop. Second and eight for the Warriors. Three men in motion. Now Sweeney going to go up to the top side. Jones makes him pitch it to Coleman, and he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage before Shane Latuka chips him up in the backfield, and he kind of stumbled ahead, and now it'll be third and seven for the Warriors. And this is definite four down territory. Now the immediate little motion for the Warriors pushes them back. Third and 12, the screen is on. Complete to Ramirez on the near side. Titans sniff it out. Now he cuts it back in the middle of the field. And Garrett Beck and Taylor Jones stand him up. Wrestle him down to the 13. And now it's fourth and a whole lot to go for the Warriors. Their season all comes down to this play. And now they're going to have a timeout and think about it. And I'm surprised they're punting here. But hopefully they're just praying for a third and out. No, the fake is on the snap of the up back, and they give it underneath to the up man. That was Chris Price, and he's going to run for a whole lot of yards. That across the 40, the 35, the 30, down to the 27-yard line. What a call by Jim Burton. The Titans had to have been thinking 
that they weren't really going to punt fourth and forever backed up deep, but Tesoro fell for the fake punt, and the Troy High School season is still alive. First and ten, Sweeney going to the air. He has a man up top, and a nice over-the-shoulder catch by Nathan Brewer, and he hauls it in. What a catch by Nathan Brewer. Sweeney threw it over the outside shoulder, and now the Warriors have it first and goal from the four. The give Ramirez over the left side, spins down to the one-yard line. Jeff Garens hauled him down, and don't go anywhere. Troy High School down by two touchdowns, but they're a yard away from one of them right here. Sweeney under center, the give Coleman right up the gut. He's in for a touchdown. With an extra point, the Warriors will be within one touchdown as Pineda on for his seventh extra point of the night, and that one splits the uprights. And man, did the Titans fall asleep on defense. The fake punt worked for Troy. And with two minutes to go in the game, Titans 56, Warriors 49. And now an onside kick to determine the Warriors' fate. And it's a good one. But the Titans put the hands team out there and they come down with it. Who got it? None other than number five, Jordan Wolbright stepped up. Now the Titans just have to run out two minutes on the clock. Calcagney takes it right up the gut. He's got it to the 49, but he doesn't need yards. They just need to run out the clock. A couple first downs should do that. Shockwell to give Calcagney over the left side. He picks up a couple more. It'll be third and seven. Shockwell gives it Calcagney again the left side over the 35. And now the fumble is ahead, and Troy has it. I don't believe it. Sean Calcagney turned it over, and now Troy needs to go punch it in to put this thing into overtime. Ramirez brings it around the left side. Gets about three. The give Coleman takes it across the 40 to the 45, down to the 48. The Warriors got the turnover they needed. Now they're driving Sweeney. Three-step drop going up top for a man, and it's picked off by Sean Calcagney. The senior overcomes his fumble. Sean Calcagney was the loneliest man in the stadium when he put the ball on the turf and then he came back on defense and picked off a Sweeney pass and now the Titans are just content to take a knee. And you talk about righting a wrong, Kalkegi picking off that pass, unbelievable. Young man's had a night to remember here. Now he takes it on the right side, the 20, the 25, the 30, and alertly slides down inbounds to keep the clock ticking. And a career night that almost wasn't for Sean Calcagney. If Troy would have punched that one in, you have to have figured they would have went for two in the win here at home. And all of his yards and touchdowns would have went for nothing. And instead, he comes back and makes a play when he has to. And his team will move on to the next round. And a game that should be at home. Rumor has it against Covina. Now Calcagney has it again out across the 40, the 45, the 50. He just continues to add insult to injury here as he slides down inbounds again. Only problem with that is the stop clock stops to move the chains. And he's refusing to come out here. He's gasping for air, doing all that he can. Titans have it first and 10 out around midfield, but that doesn't matter. They're just going to be taking a knee more than likely and get out of here with a hard-fought victory. And that's going to do it as the clock ticks down. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. Here come the Titans, and they live to see another day. And Sean Calcagney, you wouldn't know it by looking at his jersey, but that thing was white at the beginning of the game, and now it's just chock full of mud and dirt, and Coach O'Connor going to take him off to the side, and I think... Sean Calcagney is going to need a hot shower, about eight Advil and a couple ice packs and a meal and a bed as he has earned, earned, earned this victory tonight for the Tesoro Titans in an awkward game that neither defense really wanted to establish a presence. The two offenses move the ball at will as totaled by 105 points in offense tonight. The Titans, 56-49. They'll move on to the semifinal round of the playoffs. We'll see you next week saying so long from Troy High School where Tesoro emerges victorious 56-49. I'm Justin Alderson. Good night.
Now, who, who did uh, Northwood play tonight? Western. They're good, too. Western, yeah. Thank you. 